So last year we heard from the residents of Sandy Island that there was an erosion problem on the shoreline. Uh, this is a public landing, but it's a culturally, historically, and ecologically significant island. It's only accessible by boat, uh, and it's a treasure for the county, so we really wanted to protect the shoreline. We got together with our partners at NRCS and the USDA and found some funding sources through the Emergency Watershed Protection Program, where we were able to come in, install a new bulkhead that you see behind us, and then additionally put on the safety railing and really make it look nice. We're backfilling it and stabilizing the shoreline. So ideally this would stop it for at least 50 years. So we started the project in March of this year and almost immediately uh, had national shutdowns and statewide shutdowns of uh, boat landings, which made getting out to a uh, remote island that's only accessible by boat a little bit of an issue. We've also had some issues with the supplies getting here on time, uh, getting the sheet piles in from Charleston, and, and uh, getting everything over to the island. So every piece from each each bolt to each board to each piece of sheeting all had to be barged in. Every piece of equipment from backhoes and dump trucks all had to be barged over to the island to be able to be used. So we're looking at a substantial completion date sometime in the next two weeks. Um, they're really in the short rows now, so there's just a little bit left to do as far as getting the rest of the railing up, installing the gates and stairs, and then finally putting on the cap on top of the wall, backfilling everything and getting it all looking uh, real nice. So that's, we like this vinyl sheeting a lot. Uh, it's what we used at the Marsh Walk when we did those repairs last year. Uh, it has a very long lifespan. It's really easy to install. It's a little bit lighter weight. Uh, and has a longer life than the, the traditional tonic root wooden boards that have been used in the past. The funding of this project is both through county council and the county administrator and then also through NRCS and their emergency watershed protection program. The emergency watershed protection program paid 75% of the total project cost and then county council paid the additional 25% of the cost sharing. One of the things we really try to take into account is protecting the trees and natural resources that are on the island. So one of the things we did with the older cypress trees that are in front of the wall is we added a layer of protective fabric and riprap around the tree to protect it from the reflected wave action. So when waves come in, they're impacting the trees and soils, they hit the wall, and then they reflect back and impact the same soils twice. So we want to make sure that we protect that tree and keep it healthy and happy. The other thing we did is we protected the older oak trees that are on the other side of the wall by angling all of our anchors away from the roots of the tree system to make sure that it is not impacted by the uh, installation of the seawall.